Hi everyone, thank you for joining me for another Friday 5 Minute Makes. Now for this card you are going to need an embossing folder, some inks, they don't have to be oxides, you all know I'm a huge fan of Distress Oxides, they can be Distress inks, they can be Versify, Versamarks, whatever, whatever it may be that you've got to hand. Um, I would suggest a brayer, just, it just makes the whole technique a lot neater. And you're going to need a die, a sentiment die that has the outline border as an additional piece, ideally. You could cut this out by hand otherwise, but it's so much easier if you've got the border die along with it. So I've got one from Paper Rose that's just launched on Craft Stash, and this one says just a note. Now, the reason it's not in there is because I have already cut it from black cardstock ready to go to uh, make this video quick for you as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually use this border die because I don't want to be die cutting into my panel once I've put my embossing uh, folder onto it. So I'm going to just pop that into the centre but uh, towards the top, so about a third of the way down from the top and I'm going to take a little bit of low tack tape just to hold that there. Now I'm going to run this through my die cutting machine and just pop that out. Now you can keep this bit, I'm not going to use it today in today's card but you can keep that and use that as a border another time. Folding back the low tack tape and peeling it ever so slowly so that we don't have any residue or anything left on there. Okay, so now we want to add some colour to our background. Now this is a 6x6 card base and I've just cut a panel a little bit smaller so it's probably around about five and a half by five and a half inches to sit on top. So I'm going to take my embossing folder. Now when you open embossing folder up, you'll notice that it has two sides. It has the side where the design is raised up and the side where the actual design is dipped down and the background is raised. And we're going to be working with the raised background. So I'm not worried about getting ink on this side. If it does, it's fine because that side is going to be the reverse of our cardstock. So what I'm going to do first is just swipe across with my pad. Now this is fine where you've got a three inch uh, pad like this, Distress Oxide pad, it's easy. But, oh, let's just swap and go to our purple. But if you've got smaller ink pads, you might find this not as easy. You might end up getting some ink down below in the dipped areas, which is not what we want. We want the ink to sit on the surface there. So if you do have small ink pads only, that's where your brayer is going to come in handy. So I'm just going to pick up a little bit of ink on the middle of my brayer there, and I'm going to run that across the middle just to blend those colours in together. So the blue into the purple and into the pink as well. So now we're going to pop our cardstock into this panel. So I'm carefully going to drop it into the middle fold it over, there we go, and I'm going to run this now through my die cutting machine. Now I just love the way this looks, I love that you've got the white design where the ink hasn't touched it in the background there, you'll need to give your embossing folder a quick wipe over afterwards, just a spritz with water and a wet piece of kitchen towel will be absolutely fine. Now I'm going to place this on my card base there. Uh, I'm going to raise this one up with foam tape as well. Now just another tip for you, if you are applying foam tape and you're needing to go around an intricate aperture, just like the border we've got here for our sentiment, use your die and cut into some of the craft stash foam, the adhesive foam. This one, this piece isn't big enough, I'll find myself a big enough piece, there's one, perfect. So I'm just going to cut into that. Now I can also keep the excess here to go alongside my excess die cut, so I can put those two together at another time, another sentiment on a card. Just here I'm going to show you how I apply this. So I've got my die cut piece of foam, I'm going to peel off the front, turn it over, just pop your face over it to make sure you can see what you're doing because you want to line this up absolutely perfectly and just place that around your aperture there. So I will trim those edges there, see look at that, absolutely perfect and that's solid now so none of these little bits are going to be pressed down. So I'm just going to apply some foam of the same thickness along the top and across the bottom here, snip off these edges and put that onto my card base. 
So there I've got my perfectly raised up aperture, my pattern paper that we've created and I've just die cut the word just a note from black cardstock here. This is going to be popped inside. Now I could raise this up on foam as well. Um, for this, just to make it really quick, I'm not going to, I'm just going to put it flat down onto the card base through that little aperture there. So I'm going to use, for this I'm going to use my tweezers and some glue. My favourite glue at the moment is my book binding glue from Creative Craft Products. Now as always my last little finishing touches are going to be some uh, little gems, just some iridescent uh, pearls that I've got here, absolutely beautiful and they go with any colourway of card that I'm creating. Now if you love this five minutes make don't forget to check out the playlist, I'll link that just here for you and please do come along and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, I'd love to see you here watching more of my tutorials. So there's the finished card. Isn't that just gorgeous? And it really did just take me a few minutes. Thank you, everybody. I'll see you soon.